So as we transition into Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, the theme of my videos will also transition from the 48 Laws of Power to chess, because Season 3 will be a highly strategic game, which will require Tariq to make good moves. But in the game of chess, a queen holds a lot of power, it can also move a number of ways, and in fact, because the queen is the most powerful piece, it also happens to be the most powerful defender of the king, and it also works in the street game. Throughout power, we realize how powerful women actually are. They have the ability to get things done, which sometimes men can't, and they're able to move in a way which men can't. And that comes with certain advantages. For example, we saw the way Tasha gave Ghost the idea to take territory. There was also a moment in time where Tommy was out of control and Tasha was the only one who was able to control things. An example from Power Book 2 Ghost was Monet teaching Diana, the way to get to a man is to make him fall in love with the image he sees in your eyes. There was also Uncle Frank and the way he was looking at her. In his eyes, he believed the way he was looking at Diana made him the dominant one, but in reality, he was showing his moves, which in turn gives the power to the queen. So it is fair to say, a queen has a lot of power and can influence decisions, outcomes and sway things in their direction. So having the right queen by your side can definitely be highly advantageous. Which is why it's important that Tariq makes the right choice in deciding who's by his side. But Tariq's love life is complicated. Diana is Monet's daughter and you never mix business with pleasure, but he did. But it's even more complicated now that Diana may potentially have a new love interest or is she just using this certain someone to get what she wants. That's something we'll come back to later. There's also Effie who burned him before, who now seems to be his go-to, now that Lauren's out of the picture. But again, complicated by the fact Effie was the one who killed her. So in the rest of this video, we're gonna dissect the analysis of Kings and Queens and how certain moves that Tariq has in play and will play in the future will change the game. Because I wouldn't be surprised if he were to find a new love interest on Wall Street. So as usual, we're gonna dissect some theories for Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. Now, I do think it's worthwhile rewinding it back to power for a moment, not just because there were girls before Diana and Effie, but Tariq learned some harsh and valuable lessons, especially when it came to Destiny. Destiny was Tariq's first, and someone who ended up playing a crucial role in the death of his twin sister, Raina St. Patrick. She is also a character who's also not dead, and we all know in the world of power, if you're not dead, there's always a chance you can come back. And therefore, one can argue, Tariq may have some unfinished business with Destiny, especially considering the fact she had a hand in Ray Ray finding Tariq, which led to his sister's death. But his relationship with Effie also goes back to power. You any good? Good enough to beat you. <laughs> Wouldn't be so sure about that. Unbeknown to Tariq, the game was about to get real complicated with Effie, one which she'd eventually win, which is why Tariq had his doubts when she returned in Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1. So if we were to look at this in the chess aspect, the game teaches you strategy, it teaches you how to use your mind and how to think forward, but mistakes can be made. And after being tricked once, one should learn from their mistakes and avoid being tricked in the same way. Because as they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Look, I need some help from this girl, right? Why she stabbed me in the back before? How do I work with someone that I can't trust? Well, after I found out your father was cheating on me, on all of us, I couldn't trust him either. I did the next best thing. I got him to trust me. In Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1, Effie came back into Tariq's life, but he couldn't trust working with someone who burned him before. That was until Tasha told him, get Effie to trust him. And that's exactly what he did. They worked together and moved a hell of a lot of weight, making 50k in just one afternoon. But that wasn't the last time we saw Effie. This time it was Tariq's turn to turn to Effie, because Tasha told Tariq to do something he didn't want to, kill Epiphany. But the reason why Tariq chose to open up to Effie was because she was the only one who understands Tariq. But again, just keep the trust aspect in mind, because we are going to come back to Effie later on. He was also introduced to Diana, who happened to be the daughter of Tariq's business partner, Monet Tahada, and so he always took a cautious approach when it came to Diana, because he knew being in a relationship with Diana would complicate things for him on a business and personal level. But we all know Diana started to grow feelings instantly. There was this instant attraction because Tariq was a mysterious guy, and sometimes girls love a bit of mystery. And the same could be said about Lauren, which was complicated by the fact she already had a boyfriend, but that didn't stop Tariq. So Effie was someone he couldn't trust. Diana was Monet's daughter who did warn her, anybody who gets close to that boy ends up dead or in jail. Courtney Kemp also did make reference to this in one of her live Instagram Q&As in Season 2 and she said, 
where Diana and Effie are hot and cold, Lauren is just right, which becomes even more evident in Season 2. In Power Book 2 Ghost Season 2, no doubt Tariq was playing the game, just like he said in Season 1. He has options, but the girl Tariq wanted was Lauren. Without knowing, it was like father like son. Tariq adopted a similar mindset for falling for someone who wasn't involved in the game. But as we all know, one way or another, everybody always ends up in the game, but much to Lauren's demise. The relationship was also complex by the fact Tariq had to juggle his studies, look after Yasmin, his court case, all while trying to maintain an honest relationship with Lauren, which was anything but honest, but he did try. He opened up to her about how he's been hurt by so much death in the past, including his sister and his best friend, which by the way, was a reference to Kane and Stark, but this was why he didn't feel anything when they found out about Jabari's death. But that wasn't the real reason, as we all know. But with Lauren being pulled into the game with a recording device and catching Kane on the wire, her life was in real danger. Effie, who happened to be around Tariq a lot more in Season 2, made Tariq aware that Lauren had to go because she was a snitch. And again, much like his father, Tariq did the complete opposite. He told her to leave rather than deal with the situation. But actions have consequences. For example, if you make the wrong move in chess, your queen gets taken. Now in my opinion, there are two reasons why Effie did what she did. She knew Lauren had to go because they were all implicated and she was doing what needed to be done, getting rid of a snitch. But there is also an argument to say, did Effie use this as an opportunity to get rid of her competition when it comes to Tariq? You told me you wasn't trying to get in touch. Yeah, I think it might be too late. Effie told Tariq it's too late, she's already attached, and season 2 ended with Tariq even telling Effie, maybe it's best if she moved to Stansfield, and I think that's what's gonna happen in season 3. We're gonna see Tariq and Effie closer than ever before, but we all know Lauren's death will complicate things, which is why Tariq may end up having a new love interest who I'll come to in just a moment. Now Diana was also a character who Tariq was cautious with and he had every right to be because we all saw the way Diana was moving towards the back end of season 2. She was clever in using the sugar move to her advantage. She used it to get Tariq to owe her a favour which she cashed in by using Tariq to get to Davis McLean, one which she used to free Lorenzo behind Monet's back. But that was the moment we should have rang alarm bells for us as the audience because this was a strategic move and just like our queen can travel across the board in more ways than one and also in more ways than any piece in the game. That's exactly what she did but there was a moment where Tariq and Diana got extremely close. Now you know damn well Monet would not like that. <laughs> okay but you ain't in business with her anymore right? That was the problem. Problem solved. This is something I think that will have a long lasting impact, Tariq sleeping with Diana, but Tariq will be wary of how crafty she is, especially after she stole his product. Diana is also someone who's getting hot and steamy with a certain new character, and who knows, could this be Tariq's new roommate, could it be Obi or someone else, could Diana be sleeping with this guy just to get in the game? because we all know how Diana wants to go to school and hustle at the same time. That was the whole idea behind learning from Effie. She wanted to learn how Effie played the game. But either way, Diana's a character who knows how to move. She's strategic and she's crafty, which is no surprise because she learned from Monet to harder. But that's Tariq's love life from past to present. But what about in Ghost Season 3? In Season 3 of Ghost, I have a funny feeling Tariq may well cross paths with Kiki Travis. Kiki Travis is described as a young VP on a Wall Street firm. She's Ivy League educated, doesn't come from a privileged background, but is making her own way in the world of business elite. And if we were to link this back to the official synopsis for season 3, we know Tariq's an intern at Braden's family hedge fund. And so what are the odds of him crossing paths with Kiki? Pretty high in my opinion. So this is where it gets interesting. We know Lauren is no longer in the picture. We know he has trust issues with Diana and Effie kill Lauren. And with Tariq still wanting to leave the street game behind, Kiki may just be someone who further pushes him in this direction. But again, we know power love to throw twists and turns. And if Kiki is in the game, she will be soon because anybody who gets close to Tariq ends up dead or in jail. But will Kiki prove to be different? Will she break the power curse and actually be able to pull Tariq away from the game? Or will it end in the same way as Lauren? So with that being said, the question I have for you guys is, what impact will Lauren's death have on Tariq? And who's Tariq's future queen? Is it Effie, Diana, Kiki or someone else? 
drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section and of course if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything power book 2 ghost and power universe related but as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time